meaning by you? Whether, whether right you now. It is not for your health thus to commit. Your weakness into the raw, cold morning. No for your theater. You have urgently booted his soul from my bed, and yesterday night at supper, you suddenly arose and walked about, musing and sighing with your arms crossed. And when I asked you what the matter was, you stared upon me with ungentle looks. I urged you further, then you scratched your head. And too faintly stamped with your foot, yet I insisted that you answered not. But with an angry way of your hand, gave me sign, gave sign for me to leave you, so I did. Praying to train them, because that impatience would seem too, too much enkindled in the draw, hoping there would be much of an effect of humor, which somehow, which sometimes hates this hour with every man. It will not let you eat nor talk nor sleep, and it could, and it could work so much upon your shape. Has it much prevailed here on your condition? I should not know you, Brutus, dear my lord. Make me acquainted with your cause of grief. I am not well in health, and that is all. Brutus is wise, and were he not in health, he would embrace the means to come by it. Why, so I do. Good portion. Go to bed. Is Brutus sick, and is it physical to walk in grace and suck up the humors of dang morning? What if Brutus, what, what is Brutus sick, and will it steal him out of his wholesome bed? Today the vile congregation of the night attempt the rumpery and unpursed air to add on to his sickness. No, my Brutus, you will have some sick offense within your mind, which by the right and virtue of my place I to know of. And upon my lady, I charm you by once more, I want to commend beauty by all your vows of love and the great vow, which did incorporate and make us one, that you unfold to me yourself your half, which why are you heavy, and what men can I have scored to you? For here I have been some six or seven who did not who did hide the face of King from darkness. Kneel not, gentle portion. I should not need. If you were gentle, Brutus, within the food bond of marriage, tell me, Brutus, is it expected I should know your secrets that apparent to you? Am I yourself, but as it were, in sort of in sort of love or elimination, to keep you at your meals, comfort your bed, and talk to you sometimes, dwell I, I but in the suburbs of your good pleasure. If it be no more, Brutus, Portia is Brutus Harlot, not his wife. You are my true and honorable wife, as dear to me as the, are the ruddy drops that visit my sad heart. If this were true, then should I know the secret? I grant I am a woman, but with a draw, a woman that Lord Brutus took to wife. I grant I am a woman, but with a draw, a woman well reproduced. Cassius daughter, think you I am no stronger than my sex, being so father and so husband. Tell me your counsels, and I will do not disclose them. I have made strong proof of my consistency, giving myself a voluntary room, here in a thigh, and I bear with patience and not my husband's secrets. O oh, ye gods, render me worthy of this noble wife. Hark, 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 one knocks, push a go in the wild, and by and by thou spotum shall partake. The secrets of my heart, all my engagements I will consume, custody of thee, all the character of my sour leave me with haste. <laughs>